I'm in a new build to rent community in Gilbert, Arizona. As you can see here, they've got all these units, all these homes that they're built. Nobody's working on them. This is once again evidence that we've got a rental glut and these are all gonna be dumped on the market and we're gonna have a huge crash. Actually, it's President's Day, so there's just not a whole lot of people working. I was just poking fun. Um, this is a very interesting concept. As you can see, these are like little duplexes. Uh, two and three bedroom places and they're row after row They're gonna come with a big clubhouse when they're done and it's gonna have a dog park swimming pool and The appeal for these is it's not apartment living so you don't have anybody above you or below you uh, And you have a real sense of community so you can they're dog friendly Kid friendly so they're expecting a lot of families to move in here. I'm gonna kind of walk this way and kind of show some of them that they're not quite completed yet now the downside is when i say downside i've seen some of the prices on these average around 23 to 2500 a month that's a pretty big hit so um two bedroom apartments are certainly not going for that getting close but you know you're going to pay to have more space and you can see here that you will get more space. You're gonna get a small private patio, nothing huge. Um, this one is actually open. I wonder if I can go in without getting in trouble. So, hello, hello. Oh, nobody here, cool. Little coo. So, nice and spacious. So you got a huge island. So you got one bedroom there and another bedroom here. So this is a two bedroom with a washer and dryer so that's nice the patio area is not very big in this particular unit go around the corner here and see what else i see um, they're gonna make them look pretty nice they got some nice stone on that one um, so this is you don't really have a patio it's really tiny probably big enough for a barbecue uh, but you can see you're going to be really close to your neighbors and uh that can be good or bad, but hey, at least nobody's living above you or below you, so it is much better than an apartment. These are springing up all over the valley. I've seen them way out in East Mesa. I've seen them way up in the north, northwest of the valley, up by Peoria and Surprise. They're everywhere. So it remains to be seen how successful they're going to be and just how big the demand is. But for now, I mean, they obviously wouldn't be building them if they didn't feel like there was going to be demand. So we'll watch these, see what's going on. It'll be interesting to come back here and show it to you when it's all done. Take care. Well, as long as we talked about the uh, proximity to downtown Gilbert, I thought we might as well drive through downtown and see what all the fuss is about. To the right here is a new development coming up and uh, it's going to have, it's called Heritage Park. It's gonna have office buildings, retail, condos, restaurants, and it's taken up about two city blocks. To my left is Culinary Dropout, very popular night spot. This town was completely redone with uh, a vibrant nightlife and uh, restaurants all over the place here. It used to be, they were kind of trying to go with a Western theme and it just wasn't working. It's a little bit further south. You know, we'll drive by it. And you'd have a restaurant come and go, and it, it just didn't work. They got um, a good downtown development manager working on the project here in downtown Chandler, and they just changed everything. You can see Oso Brewery off to the, to the left, Zinberger off to the right, and then there's Whiskey Row, really popular. Friday and Saturday nights, this place is jumping, but there's always a good crowd down here for lunch and dinner and everything's in them walking distance there's really a uh, good parking so this is kind of a desirable area that people want to live next to so whenever a listing comes up that is close to downtown gilbert you can count on reading that in the description they'll say close to downtown and this is this is why uh you got taco house to the right you've got postinos to the right hand side there and uh if you like bruschetta i highly recommend you go there excellent wines good food and then down here is that western part of the town that i was telling you about 
this is actually what kind of only consisted of downtown Gilbert for the longest time. Not much going on, just kind of a sleepy little little area. And uh, over to the left of me here, I'm going to drive by and show you where the uh, speakeasy is. There's a speakeasy in downtown Chandler called the Ostrich, and there's a speakeasy here. I think it's called the White Rabbit. And the difference here is that you have to go on their website and find out what the password is for the week. Now, when you come here, there's a guy standing at the top of the stairs with a with an iPad, and he asks you what your name is and if you have reservations. And then, uh, then he says, okay, well, what's the password? And then you give him the password. And then he radios to him downstairs, Rick and Guest are coming down. And I just found that just kind of odd. Um, you know, just let us walk down. So we go down the bottom of the stairs, and it's real dark. You can't see anything. And you, uh, um, you're trying to figure out how to get in. Well, there's a big bookcase there, and you pull on the bookcase, and that's the door to get into the bar. And it's a really nice old bar and it's just to my right here you can see there's a green railing opens at six o'clock at night you'll see a guy standing out there and uh and he'll have his ipad so if you're into speakeasies that's the place so that's downtown gilbert for you also to the right and looking up is the famous gilbert water tower that's lit up at night looks pretty cool so this town is where a lot of stuff's going on and people just enjoy coming down here. So I hope you enjoyed the quick impromptu tour.